I've been part of our development initiatives for quite some time now, and I've seen uh, a lot of uh, exchanges, exchange visits across uh, uh, different countries in Africa, and uh, between Africa and Asia Pacific. We specifically had one uh, from Rwanda to uh, Asia Pacific, and um, each program uh, is designed uh, much the same, but it has different uh, uniqueness with respect to different countries. Particularly for Rwanda, we learned, we drew lessons from Laos uh, in terms of our visit to the Asia Pacific. Um, and uh, these lessons uh, were specifically on how we can engage the private sector in a, a, a much more um, reliable way to get them on board to uh, address poverty environment linkages. Uh, exchanges to Rwanda, we've seen Malawi and Mozambique come here, Uganda came here, um, and uh, there has been um, at least exchanges in the terms of lesson learning, the sharing experiences, uh, which um, I'm sure they have, uh, they are working on in terms of applying. We can exchange documents in terms of terms of reference for some studies. So these are powerful things that uh, can only be possible once um, different uh, practitioners sit and talk uh, on more concrete things as opposed to, you know, reading it on the website or something. So, yes, very much value in terms of, uh, there's very, there is a whole lot of value in terms of uh, exchange visits, sorts of exchanges, and their uh, lesson learning and lesson sharing for implementation. Uh, in 2010, we had a visit uh, to Asia Pacific. Uh, we visited three specific countries, Thailand, uh, Laos, and Nepal. But what I liked in, uh, in, uh, in, in general was that uh, uh, these other PI countries had actually uh, made the engagement of the private sector. That was one of the lessons learned. Uh, because currently, since we came, we initiated this with the private sector in Rwanda. We have actually, as of now, signed an MOU with the private sector federation and have already carried out the training across the country. This is the good lesson learned. Uh, but again, uh, I would also say that uh, Asia Pacific also learned a lot of things from Rwanda, especially on the cases of the of the Green Village. Uh, uh, countries like uh, Nepal, that is actually very hilly, uh, resembling like Rwanda, uh, has problems of soil erosion, has problems of poor settlement in rural areas. We actually showed them how this can be solved, at the same time uh, protecting and conserving the environment through uh, the, the, uh, we, with, with the experience of the Rwanda demonstration project. So we showed them that we can have settlement together, have water harvesting tanks uh, together, have biogas initiated in the same settlement, and at the same time we leave uh, areas uh, remaining part of the land to be consolidated for agriculture. So uh, th that, is, that is essentially what we learned. We learned how we can work with the private sector and they also learned how they can actually conserve environment at the same time of protecting, uh, I mean, conserving environment at the same time fighting poverty.